usually written in formal style and why why it is used it is widely used by institutions and organizations to announce events or occasions or celebrations why why to, to make appeals right general notices they are stuck or pasted on the information board which are meant for this purpose only but certain notices which are issued by the government departments or general for the public so what it how it is done then it is been published in the newspaper they publish it in the newspaper because it is to be read by a wide group of people or it is for the general people okay so this you should notice that notice is a very short piece of writing right how it is written it is written in formal style got it why they are used they are used for announcing any event or occasions or celebrations right to make appeals or to inform anything and generally you what do you do you stuck the notice on the notice board whereas if the notice are being issued by the government then they are published in the newspaper is the thing clear so in very short you can simply say a written piece of information is known as a notice it is usually written in formal style right and they are stuck on the notice board just to announce any event or occasions or celebrations or if you want to make any appeal or it is when it is being issued by the government for the general awareness or for the right group of people then they are published in the newspaper now points which you should remember while you are writing a notice your writing should be very neat right you should use simple and clear language this should be the format you should follow first of all an eye catching heading should be there what should be there an eye catching heading your heading should be very clear and indicate the purpose why you are writing the notice right for which this notice is being displayed there so the content should include you should mention the target group for whom this notice has been written means for which people you have written then what is the purpose of writing the notice then details such as your time your, your date your venue means place then for event or meeting or competition and then after that whom to contact so these points are very important when you are writing a notice there should be an eye catching heading means you should indicate the purpose for why you are writing the notice the content should include the target for whom you are writing the notice then date time and when you should be there right if you are just telling about any event informing about any event or meeting or competition for that your time date and when you should be very clear the purpose of writing why you are writing the notice why you are writing means you have written for whom you have written the notice then you have written the purpose of writing the dates and venue if if you are telling about the events meeting or competitions then who to contact then the notice should be what your signature signature should be there 
what should be there? Signature should be there. Okay. It should bear a signature. Then designation means post. If it is holding a post, then that should also be mentioned. Got it? And then once you have written the notice, what you have to do? You have to just make sure that the context is in a box. This is very important. The entire context, whatever you have written, that context should be in a box. And make sure that you have to adhere to the word limit. Do not exceed the word limit. Okay? Symbols and abbreviations can also be used in some notices, but not in every notice, right? And your notice must not contain any irrelevant information. Unnecessary information should not be used. Now, this thing is very important, children. The notice is generally written in third person. First person, second person and third person I have told you. So, make sure when you write a notice, it is generally written in third person. So, therefore, use of I, right? And second person, that is you should be avoided means I and you should be avoided. Okay? So, it is generally written in third person. So, make sure that usually present tense and future tense references predominate over the tenses in, in the tense forms. Okay? In the tenses forms, usually present tense and future tense references predominate. Got it? I hope so this thing is clear to you. Now, this is the format of your notice. Just see how you have written. First thing, you will write the name of the school or the office who is issuing the notice. This over here, this thing is, then you simply mention it here. Then, write the notice word in over here in, the, in this, right? This word should be written just below it. After that, write down the date over here. Got it? And then the heading of the subject. This is your heading where you will be writing. Means, who is issuing the notice. After that, write the content over here. Over here, you will mention the content. Write the content over here. And, once you have written the content, what you will do? You will do the signature over here at this position. Then, over here, name and then the designation, post. Got it? And then once you have written, put it in box. Right? You have to put the notice within a box. I think this thing is clear to everyone. Okay? So, now see. Just see the example. You are Anumita Chatterjee. So, underline this thing that you are Anumita Chatterjee. You have underlined this thing. First thing you should, when you are writing a notice, first find out what is given. Right? First we should find out what is given. So, the name of the person who is issuing is here, who is writing this notice. Then, student of class. 7th B, okay. Which school? The Vintage School, Kolkata, okay. What you have lost? You have lost your new paintbrush, right? Okay. Where? In the school. Got it? So, write a notice in not more than 50 words, right? Now, these are the points, if it is given, then you can use, if it is not given, then you are free to write. Now, first thing what you have to do, the person who is issuing the notice, the organization which is issuing the notice is the Vintage School. So, this is here what you have written. After that, notice, then date, write down date, then month and then year. Okay? Then after that, 
eye catching heading write the heading over here what is lost paint brush write down paint brush kit lost if it is umbrella lost write down umbrella lost rain coat lost right wrist watch lost gold ring lost you can it depends they have given it over your paint brush use that word right if the name of the school is not given then you can write the name of your own school if the name of the student is not mentioned here mean name of the person is not mentioned here then you are free to write the name of your you can write your own name and then you have your own class in section when it is not mentioned but if it is mentioned then you have to restrict to that thing only you cannot use your name in your class your section you have to use this only which is given in the question got it now yeah, after writing it what you are writing a new paint brush kit has been lost everything is here just see a new paint brush kit has been lost somewhere in the school same is just copy it a new paint brush kit has been lost somewhere in the school right now you tell the detail just tell the detail about the thing which you have lost it is camlin made and its box contains the owner's initials and the finder then after that once you have written after that the finder is requested to return to whom to the undersigned to the person who has written this right and then you can also promise something you can chocolate promise a chocolate bar a kit kat a mool chocolate it is up to you then signature then your name and then your class and your section just see everything is given here forget about right now what you are you are going to adhere to the name and the class and section which is given in the question is it clear okay now see the next one now suppose you are shreya parekh who you are you are shreya parekh right and you are a student of class 7c which school the vintage school vadodara now you have lost your scrapbook containing the social science project of now what you have to write you have to write a notice not more than 50 words okay no problem so first thing what we will do we will underline in the question the things which are given what are the things which are given in the question let me find out first thing right the person who is issuing the notice is given it is shreya and then you the student of class 7c then which school the vintage vadodara but what you have lost you have lost your scrapbook containing social science project simple now start writing the notice write the name of the school name of the school is given here you have written it here below it write down notice and over here don't write the date you have to write the date below the children start writing the date here only where they have written the notice no this is for the reason i have written it here to tell you not to write just over here you have to just step below and then write it here and after notice next line write down the date and then the next write down the heading the scrapbook lost right 
you have written the head eye catching heading whatever has been lost after that sat i think what is lost a scrapbook containing the social science project sheet has been lost somewhere it is all given here you can see in the question where in the school they have mentioned it is lost in the school only so it has you now you just tell the detail of the file so it has a red cover with black border and index chart is incomplete you are telling right you are just telling about the person who has found that thing will come to know that you are the only owner so you are telling the details about it then the finder is requested to return it to the undersigned undersigned means the person who has written this notice so finder means the person who finds it and then promise a small gift so a kit kat awaits the finder and then your signature over here then your name right and then your class everything is given here only you can see and once you have written just put your context in the box so simple i think it's easy there is nothing to learn you just simply read the question underline the things which are given and then start writing you know to write down the heading the school which is your organization which is issuing the notice below it write down the notice then write down the date then after i catching heading should be there and then start writing your notice and then at the last put your signature your name and your class and section if it is given if it is not given then you are free to write you can write your own okay now see the next one you have to draft a notice not more than 50 words announcing the loss of your roller skates somewhere in the school now you have to you have lost your roller skates in the school campus you have to invite necessary details means tell about the detail detail your product whatever you have lost and sign yourself as pratham walia of new era residential public school pune so now everything is given here right now first thing should be that i should go ahead for the things which are given so over here they have given that you have lost your roller skates okay underline it underline roller skates has been lost okay where in the school campus then name is given then name of the school is given simple now start writing name of the school notice date then i catching heading over here got it means this is your heading and then why you writing notice write down the purpose of the notice start your context a pair of roller skates has been lost somewhere in the school because they have already told in the question somewhere in the school that is written somewhere in the school if they if it is not told then you can write anything else whatever you think so now you tell about the detail these are iron skates with adjustable wheel base and yellow colored fast fasteners you can write and after that the owner's name is carved on the side you are also telling that the owner's name is also engraved then finder is requested to return you can use them also or you can it also because obviously it is your non living thing you can use it all this finder is requested to return it to the undersigned and then you promise some gift a mouth watering country mean a way is the finder then your signature your name your class and section as it is given over here this finder to the section is given then write down if it is not given then you can write your own class and section no problem okay next one now see the next as ashmis you a student of class 7 that springfield public school abhor ab draft a notice to be put in the school notice board giving the details of the book that you have lost somewhere in the school campus 
So, first thing, before writing, just underline the things which are given. It will become very easy for you. Because everything is in the notice. Right? They have given you. you this, this is the person who, is, who has written. Right? Okay? So, this is your Ishmeet. And after that, name of the school is also given. Then after that, uh, what you have lost? You have to lo you have lost a book. Where in the school campus, right? So now start writing. Name of the school is given. Write down the name of the school. Notice, date. Thing which is lost, book lost. Now start writing. A book title, Sinbad the Sailor, is lost in the school campus because they've already given in the school campus. Right? Either you lost a book in the school campus. So whatever is there in the if it is there, you have to use that only. You cannot write from your own. If it is not there, then you are free. Okay. Tell the day also when it was lost. Finder is requested to return it to the undersigned, means the person who is writing. And after that, I just promise something, a small gift, a chocolate bar is promised. And then your signature, your name and then your class. If section is not given, don't write section. Whatever is given, 7th is only given, you will only write 7th. Don't write 7C, 7A because it is not, it is given 7th only. You cannot write 7D, 7C. So, whatever is given, that you should first notice, underline the things which are given. Okay, Vita? So, only 7th is given, you will write, if you write 7C, this is wrong. Don't write this thing, because only this thing is given. Okay? I hope this is clear. So, all these notices are for your lost property. Okay? Whatever you have lost. Now, next one. Now, I am going to tell you about your notices for the found property. Now, see here. Neelap Sen. Means, name of the person is given. Neelap Sen. Student of class 7. Viscol. Lala Hardial Memorable School, Memorial School, Agra has found a pair of spectacles where lying unclaimed the chemistry lab. Write a notice, right? On his behalf, inviting the owner to claim it, to come and take it. Same thing. Name of the school over here. Notice, date and heading. Because earlier you have done for the loss, so you wrote lost. Now it is for the found. You simply write found. Spectacles found. Raincoat found. Right? Bag found. Water bottle found. It depends on the item. What I name the item and, and after that write down found. Easy? And then I have already told you first thing, you should underline the things which are already given. If the things are not given, then you can write your name, your class, your designation. It is up to you if it is not given. If it is given, adhere to that only. So, you are writing this notice. A pair of spectacles has been found lying unclaimed in the schema. Because everything is given in the question. See here, a pair of spectacles lying unclaimed. Where it is found? In the chemistry lab. So, a pair has been found unclaimed in the chemistry lab. Anyone who has lost means, the one who has lost can claim them. Means, come and ask for it from the undersigned, means the person who has written this notice. After establishing his or her ownership, means after giving the detail, proper details, right? Is it clear? Means uh, after verifying it, giving the verification, once telling about the things about uh, about the uh, what the uh, company uh, belongs to, 
give all the details means I simply want to say you simply give the details related to the item whatever item you have lost you suppose it is here for the specs so you tell about the thing about the which company is long the products color you can also mention so everything comes under this heading verification and then one then when to contact so you can say give the time place also if you want to give the place that also you can add and then after that signature then your name and then your class and then your section okay now see here they have written seven thing but i will tell you not to write a because they have simply given seven not a so this you should avoid this should not be done avoid this thing only use seven cut it now suppose you are just create narula you are just create narula got it and you are the student of 7th name of the school is guru hari krishan public school amritsar and you have found a water bottle where lying unclaimed near the water point so you write a notice so first thing what i have told you you will simply underline the things which are given just greet narula this is given so underline this thing then name of the school is given underline it then the thing which you have found water bottle where near the water point okay now see name of the school notice date thing which is found write down a water bottle has been found lying unclaimed near the water point on the second floor after the school anyone who has lost it can take it after verification is that by telling about this details then you can tell the time contact the undersign when during the recess then a signature the name and then your class no section is here so i have not mentioned any section here once you have written put it in a box this is very important once you have written your notice don't forget to put it in a box this is the way how we write a notice make sure that you use each and every alphabet for your heading right when you are writing the name of the school when you are writing the word notice when you are writing the heading each and every alphabet should be in capital letter only why we use capital letters so that it should be visible from a long distance from a far distance also person can read it out that is for the it should be eye catching right is it clear see the next one nandita raj a student of 7th class in mother teresa girl school jabalpur has found a wrist watch from where from the school corridor write a notice in about 50 words on our behalf it's, it's so simple what i have told you before starting what you have to find you have to simply find out what the things which are given in the question so name of the person who write the notice is given nandita raj which class 7th which school mother teresa school okay which thing is found wrist watch where from the school corridor right is it clear start right write the name of the school notice then date okay and then our wrist watch is found from the school because it is already given the wrist is found from the school corridor the wrist is found from the school corridor tell the date when it was found on september write down the date 16 because if you are writing for say from uh, this day over year 17 is he obviously you will write write a day prior to that so 16 september 16 2020 20, and then owner can claim it from the undersigned after giving a suitable identification now when during the recess we also tell the time when the bad person should come and claim it so you tell the thing okay during the recess period 
then your signature, your name and then your class. No section is not here, do not write any section. Once you have written, put it in a box, simple and write neatly, okay. I think this is clear now, no problem, okay. See the next one, you have found a key ring from the school playground. The, king, the ring contains three different keys. Write a notice in not more than 50 words, right? And you have also told that the person who wants to take it back means the owner can claim it from the school receptionist. And name is given that you are, you are Ashna Siddiqui and name of the school is also given. So, this is what I have told you first thing when you start writing a notice. Read the question thoroughly and find out, underline the things which are given in the question. What is found? A, a key ring, right? A key ring is found. So, you underline that thing that a key ring is found. Then, from where? School playground. And with school, uh, you have also told you within the, within the key, there are three different keys. Then, from where the person will claim? From the school receptionist and you are Ashna Siddiqui of this school, Oliva International, Lucknow. Simple, just see name of the school is given, okay. Name of the school is mentioned, after that notice is written, date, thing, name of the article which is found, key ring found, right. Then what I take? This is the contain what you are writing over here. A key ring containing different keys have been found from where? From the playground because it is written here from the school playground, from the playground of junior wing. If you are adding more, so they have not given you that detail just to ex, just to adhere to the word limit. Means your word limit should be 50, not less than that, and not more than that also. So. You are telling the place from the school ground or playground of the junior wing of the school and the owner can claim it from the school receptionist after establishing the ownership, right? After giving the details, after just telling all the th our details about the thing and then he can take it back and the person who is issuing is just put the signature name because it is already given here and then class and section if it is given, then write down section. If section is not given, then you will not write, okay? avoid that. And then once you have written, just enclose it in a box. Concept clear? So, you try all these notices and you can ask me if you want your problem, any way you find any problem, you can remove your query.